Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we're looking pretty good out there in terms of firework displays for tonight, but however, tomorrow night might be a different story. We do have some storms on the way for Saturday, but first let's take a look outside. This is Newport looking pretty good. Uh, we're looking at humid conditions though. Temperatures in the 70s down here along the coast and uh, further inland you go, you're getting back into the 80s. It'll be in the low 80s in Providence right now. Live radar, not much to show you guys. No rain right now. We have some showers off to our west in parts of uh, New Jersey and New York. Those will bother us later on tonight, but for right now, we're okay. We're staying on the dry side. Temperatures right now, like I mentioned, 80s further inland. So places like Providence, 83, Smithfield, 82, even Taunton at 82 as well. Down along the coastline, it's a little bit cooler in the 70s, 73 in Newport, 78 in Westerly. Heat index, this is what it feels like when you factor in the humidity feels like 88 in Providence, 86 in Smithfield, and staying uh, a little bit cooler along the coast. Now, muggy meter, we are quite humid out there for the, actually the last couple of days, and uh, our dew points are in the 60s. This is a measure of how much humidity is actually in the air. Now, as we go into Sunday and Monday, notice how these dew point temperatures really drop off back into the 40s by Sunday and Monday. Much more comfortable air comes in for the second half of the holiday weekend. Three key things tracking that muggy and humid air right through uh, Saturday. And along with that, we have a storm risk coming in for tomorrow. Some of the storms could be strong to severe. I'll show you all that in just a second. And our 4th of July forecast looking pretty good on Monday. So for those storms that I was just mentioning, we are in a slight category for severe weather. This is that yellow uh, area you see over here across southern New England. That's a level two out of five for severe weather for tomorrow. The threat is really damaging winds, hail, lightning, thunder, and uh, even some downpours as well. Let's track it all for you, though. We're watching a cold front off to our west. This will eventually advance further towards the east, and that'll bring us those shower and storm chances for your Saturday. Not a washout, but certainly uh, could be uh, quite loud at times with the thunder. So let's take a look uh, closer for this evening. Staying dry, temperatures getting back into the 70s all across the area, and we'll get back into the 60s later on tonight. Clouds build in around midnight, and we could see some showers come through uh, prior to daybreak and even those showers could contain some heavy downpours and thunder and lightning indicated by those uh, darker shades of oranges and yellows on your screen. And then as we go through the morning hours, we'll be seeing another round come through uh, with some thunder lightning as well around 10 o'clock, uh, especially along the coastline. You can see those reds embedded there. Uh, that's some more activity making its way through and we're going to be seeing some waves come through on Saturday. It's not an all day washout by any means. And then by the afternoon, notice this clearing area. We could see some sunshine for the early afternoon hours on your Saturday, so not the worst day in terms of weather, but you are going to be keeping an eye to the sky throughout the day with those storms coming through, possibly uh, through the afternoon as well. And clearing things out in time for Sunday and Monday, fireworks forecast looking pretty good uh, for tonight at least. And then as we head into Saturday, those storms uh, could pose a threat to any firework displays. And then Sunday, Monday night looking good. Seven day forecast shows you what it looks like going ahead. Again, after our uh, storms on Saturday, that severe threat certainly diminishes. We look drier and less humid on Sunday and Monday with temperatures in the mid 80s. I know we mentioned that those fireworks are happening on Saturday night. You think those are definitely going to get pushed? It, it could get pushed back, yeah, with the storm threat. All right, yeah. Stephen, thank you. Coming up at